Hey, I'm going to show you all how to make a split tone effect in Spark. Um, if you're unfamiliar with split tone, it's um, an effect where uh, one color is applied to the darks and then another color is applied to the highlights. So you can see the original photo and then this photo with a sort of split tone effect applied to it. Um, so first I'm going to go over how to do this in Photoshop just to get the concepts down and then we're going to transfer that same technique into Spark Patch Editor. Um, but before we get to that, where did my window? Oh, it's Firefox. Um, if you guys have an extra couple of bucks, I could really use it. Um, if you want to throw me a dollar a month or five or ten, I'd really appreciate it. Um, GitHub's currently sponsoring uh, or matching sponsors. So whatever you do end up giving me is doubled. So that's pretty cool. Um, another note, uh, this project, the project files will be up on my GitHub at this URL. I'll put that link in the description. Um, and that's pretty much it. So going into Photoshop, um, first, I don't know, this, this image, like if you don't do anything to an image, it's going to look like kind of, flat usually, so um, you don't have to do this step, but I'm going to throw in a brightness contrast um, just to, you know, give it a little bit of pop. Um, and then the only other thing you need after that is a gradient map. Um, so it's going to look wacky at first uh, with the default values. Um, I'm going to pick actually, yeah, that's fine. Um, so yellow and blue, um, you can see like the effect just with the, the straight gradient map is super harsh, um, because it's using these absolute colors and just replacing, um, everything in between. Um, so one way you can tweak that is just by lowering opacity and you get this nice kind of, um, uh, I don't know, overlay kind of fade out effect looks very Instagrammy and cool. Um, but the way we're going to do it, we're going to put on a blend mode of overlay. Crank that all the way up so we can see the, the full effect. Um, so of course you want to, you'll want to dial these colors in um, and tweak them to your liking. Um, but yeah, that's the general concept in Photoshop and we're going to take these uh, there's going to be equivalent patches um, in Spark, and there's even a patch for blend mode. So I'll show you all how that works. Um, so begin, I'm going to need um, a couple of files from Spark Color Adjust project. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see all of the patches that come in this. Um, there's contrast for one, and then the other one we will be using is gradient map. Um, so I'm going to hit the download button. Okay. Get in there. Okay, I'm going to close Firefox. Hope things run faster. Okay. So if you dig in here, dig in the patches, uh, we're just going to grab contrast and uh, gradient map. Drag them over. Um, so of course we're going to need a canvas to draw on, draw into, and then we're going to put a rect in there, standard setup for 2D. Um, and then what? Rectangle size. I'm not going over too much of what I'm doing in this step because I feel like I do it in every video. So um, trying to be not redundant. Um, so I'm going to make a material. This material will be flat. Okay, so now that the setup's done, um, step one in Photoshop, if you remember, we applied contrast just to Make things pop a little bit more. 
So a little too intense. Um, cool thing in the in the editor, if you don't like typing numbers, I don't know why anybody would. Um, if you hold down the Alt key, you can. I think it's Alt. Oh. Yeah. So hold down Alt, and then you can use arrow keys to kind of dial in um, your ideal value. So contrast looks great, good. Uh, gradient map is a little bit more involved because you have to make a gradient within Spark. Um, so for now, I'm just going to pipe that texture through. And of course, there's an error. Um, maybe I won't do that. OK, so make a gradient. Um, we're going to need first uh, a gradient type. Um, I think I set this up to use horizontal. Maybe it'll accept vertical. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's the starting point for the gradient. And then you pipe this into gradient, gradient step. So um, I'm just going to go. Yeah, actually, you only need one gradient step if you're just going to do a, a two step like split tone. Um, you can add more steps in between, um, but you don't need to. Um, so I think this is misnamed. I think it actually needs the output, not the gradient. Yeah, so um, if you do this with black and white, it'll just be a black and white image. Um, so we're going to set the colors by clicking there and then weaken some sliders. Maybe we'll do like orange and teal. It's pretty popular. Just crank that saturation. So the, the orange is going to be our darks. And then uh, the next step, um, maybe, how do we get teal? There we go. That's a teal. So this is looking pretty intense. Um, but we're going to change the intensity uh, in the in the step where we apply the blend mode. Um, so in order to actually use the blend patch, you have to have like a source and a destination. Um, it can't just go like straight through um, to like the, the camera in the background. Um, so we're gonna take our camera texture, a blend, and I think that should be the destination. And then the output from our gradient map, which is what you see on the screen, is going to be the source. And set that to overlay. And that's pretty much it. Um, so that's all pretty cool. Um, of course, maybe you want to, uh, even though we have the overlay, which like provides some subtlety, uh, you could also use an alpha um, to to get further control over how strong the effect is. Um, so that would just be a mix. Uh, mix will mix two textures um, based on, it says alpha, but it it's like the weight in between the two textures. So like 0.5 is gonna be halfway in between. So that's like 50% opacity mix. Um, I'm just gonna try that, see how it looks. Um, so then we need camera texture. Boom. So again, you can play with these values, hold down the Alt key and like bump it. So that's, that's just the camera texture. And then the further we go towards zero, the stronger the effect gets. So you can get really uh, fine tuned looks, uh, which is great. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, as far as the uh, the dual tone, what do I call it, split tone process goes. Um, but I think it's kind of cool to have like user controls in this kind of stuff. So I'm going to quickly step through like how um, you can make a, a screen pan gesture to control some of the attrib attributes here. Uh, pan. We're going to get a screen pan, and then that's going to give us the, the 2D position um, on the screen of the finger. 
which is great, except um, the 2D position is in pixels um, and pixels change per device. So we're gonna take the 2D position and divide it by the screen size. And that's just gonna give us a zero to one range um, for X and Y. I'm just gonna put that into a value and then test it out. So you can see those numbers kind of small maybe. So then you can use these to drive maybe the alpha here. So maybe I'll do, um, I'll grab the Y component. I'll just do unpack. So I'll just grab that Y component and pipe it straight in to alpha. So now I have given the user full control over the effect strength, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Maybe we could try, I don't know if we change the end range, would that do something? I think it might. So this, this technique isn't just limited to um, two colors. You can totally add more um, steps and I'll show you how to do that in a second. As soon as I grab this X value, I'm just curious to see what this does. Yeah, so that, that has a pretty visible effect. It, it crushes the, the blacks and like puts more weight on the highlights so things look more blue. Um, Move that back. This is a pretty neat way to to make a an effect that uses no textures. Like you could do this with a LUT if you wanted, um, but this is just like super lightweight, basically free. Um, so I'll I'll show you what this looks like to add another step. Um, maybe we'll do. Oops, that's not. I'll just copy this. Gradient goes into gradient. Previous step goes into there. Um, um, yeah, okay, so we can do something cool with this. Um, instead of this being blue, maybe we'll make it like a, I don't know, something noticeable. Red. Here you have orange. You do like a deep purple in the middle. Um, so we're going to plug in. Uh, my thing's frozen. Oh, I always do this. You have to hit OK on the color selector, or else it'll lock you in. So this end range is being controlled by um, X. I'm going to take that same X and use it to control the start range on this. So they'll line up. Um, and then you can see, I don't know, that's doing something. So I mean, those are the basics, some cool stuff. If you go around the screen, you can get different effects, of course. Uh, so. Yeah, um, split tone, pretty cool alternative to let's. I hope you guys liked it. Hit subscribe on YouTube and I'll see you on the next one.